we need to understand what religion is. People think religion is about God. Religion is not about God. Religion is about humans. In essence, religion is a story that gives legitimacy to human norms and values and laws and that validates a source of authority. Religion is when you have a big question in life and you need an answer. What is the source of authority? Religion explains to you, it tells a story that explains what is the authority that can answer your question. Judaism would say, oh, the authority is the word of God in the Bible. You, you want to know whether uh, two men can marry. You have this dilemma, this question, can I marry my, my boyfriend as, as a man? And you ask the Bible. And the Bible says, no, it's, it's a sin. So you don't do it. It's the source of authority. And then you have a modern ideology like liberalism. And it tells you, oh, no, the source of authority is not the Bible. The source of authority is human feelings. You just need to consult your own feelings. If something makes you feel happy and makes your boyfriend feel happy and you don't harm anybody, then there is nothing wrong with it. Go ahead and do it. If it feels good, do it. This is the basic story of liberalism, that the highest source of authority is not God, it's not the Bible, it's human feelings. So if, if we understand religion in general as a story about authority, then in the 21st century, we will have a new dataist religion or a new algorithmic religion, which will tell people the source of authority is algorithms, is big data algorithms. If you have a big question in life or a small question in life, the source of authority is the big data algorithms. So actually you're saying that the ones who are owning the data or have access to the data are the new priests somehow? Um, the new priests, the new kings, the new gods, whatever you want to, to call it, yes. Uh, data is now the, the key to almost everything. It's the most important asset. In the past, like hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago, the most important asset was land. And you had these big conflicts. Who owns the land? And then you had the Industrial Revolution, and the importance of land declined. And instead, the most important question was who owns the, the machines? Who owns the factories? Who owns the means of production? So you had these big conflicts. And in the 21st century, the most important asset will be data.